never went to church other than a wedding, funerals, things like that. So I probably was in my late 30s, early 40s when I had experienced a really dark side in the in depression. And um, I didn't know God. I've always been a believer. I truly gave myself to the Lord in high school. Um, with COVID happening, life kind of slowed down and came to like a stop. And I was kind of sucked into this day-to-day -day routine of work, being a mom, being a wife. And I didn't really feel connected with God. And I knew that there was something more. One of our friends connected us to South Point. And I knew from previous church experience that if I didn't get connected into a group, a small group, that I would eventually probably trail off. And so I really wanted to get connected when I first started South Point. And through a friend, we both joined Rooted. We started in January and we didn't really know a lot of people, so we wanted to get a chance to get to know some folks. And we figured a small group would be the way to do that. We just wanted to dive deeper into our faith. You know, we wanted to learn more, have a better understanding, you know, and just overall be a better Christian, be a better member of the church, you know, be a better uh, friend, father, husband, business person. One of my favorite um, sessions throughout the whole um, reading session was the serve experience. We had um, did a serve experience over at the missions. We were able to go over to the mission. We made dinner for them. I mean, we were able to meet a lot of the people at the mission and talk to them and just to um, see where they were at and how they got to where they were. And they were so welcoming and so appreciative of us spending that time with them and getting to know them. It was amazing. It was very uh, introspective to go through the program and there was a lot of opportunity to kind of reflect on your own faith, your own relationship with God, your relationship with Jesus, your relationship with other people. Um, and it was very cool to kind of go through that um, and you know answer all those questions and have that opportunity for the introspection and reflection. I learned so much about just the Holy Spirit and God giving gifts and and tithing and it just all of these topics that I feel like are traditionally not um, not talked about and not really well understood you like deep dive them every week and the friendships and relationships you you gain and you you get to um, create throughout that 10 week period is you know is life changing those other six people that we're in there with are now like I come to church and I know people, and I know people right. well enough to be like, hey, what's up, how are you? Um, which that, that again, was just, that's super strong, and um, that's, that's a really cool part of it, is to feel part of a community. And then after Rooted, uh, I got deep in friendships, more than just the surface level, see you on Sunday morning kind of thing. Um, I have prayer partners, I have lifelong friends, I have people that I can call on if I've got something that we're going through. We lean heavily on each other and rely on each other. We're still meeting as a small group um, and super excited about the next round of Rooted that we have coming up. I know that like when I felt really disconnected, it wasn't Jesus, he's always been there, you know, wanting me to reach out to him. I just needed to take the step and I'm glad that I did because now I see life in like a totally different view. I think Rooted is for everyone, no matter how knowledgeable you are or how connected you are with the church. I think that everybody can gain um, insight from each chapter and grow even, even further with their relationship with God, with the church, with their purpose, and it's helpful for many different seasons of your life. If you're considering Rooted, but maybe you're a little bit on the fence, you're not ready to make that 10-week commitment or you're concerned about making that 10-week commitment, um, it went by super fast. Uh, it was very enjoyable and it was needed. So after the past two years with COVID and, you know, as a mom, as a wife, not taking that time for myself, having that opportunity to step away from my family, my job, my responsibilities to make those connections with other people for an hour and a half, two hours a week was so critical to my 
mental health, my well-being, um, that I would absolutely encourage you if you are on the fence about it to just jump in feet first because it's the best decision you could ever make.